Greece's worst wildfire of the year killed one woman and continued to burn on the outskirts of the capital Athens. In scenes never before seen in the Greek capital, residents wearing masks against the choking smoke were desperately dousing their homes with water hoses in the leafy suburbs of Nea Penteli and Verlysia in an effort to render them less vulnerable to fire. Hundreds of firefighters backed by six water-bombing aircraft battled the blaze that broke out on Sunday near the village of Varnavas 35 kilometers north of Athens, Reuters reported. Stoked by gale-force winds, the blaze leapt from a wooded, hilly area into the suburbs, torching homes and stirring panic in neighborhoods that had not seen such a fire so close to the center in decades. Television footage showed several cars gutted by fire and the roofs of stately homes burning as water-bombing helicopters roared overhead. The situation is dramatic, Penteli Mayor Natasa Cosmopoula told news portal newsit.gr. A school and homes are on fire, and I can see the fire coming towards the town hall, she said. That fire had been buffeted by strong winds, he said, adding they were making the work of civil protection forces on the ground extremely difficult. The National Observatory, Greece's foremost institute monitoring natural hazards, narrowly escaped. Government officials warned of a high fire hazard in several areas, including the Athens Peninsula and the Boeotia region northwest of it. Officials have issued evacuation orders for several towns north and northwest of Athens, including New and Old Penteli, Padama Calandria, Padama Verlitian, Krasa Ano Verlitian, as well as from Dionysus and Marathon. More than 250 people were evacuated with the help of police officers near Athens. Wildfires have been a common feature of Greek summers for years, its deadliest wildfire killed 104 people in the seaside town of Mati, near the capital, in 2018. But climate change has brought hotter weather and less rain, ideal conditions for large-scale fires. Ça crame là-bas